you know, if you don't get them outside before they're like 10 years old, get them out there hunting or fishing or doing anything outside. It's too late. It is. Just make sure the kids get out there because they are the future. That son, we might have a problem. Yeah. folks, welcome to this week's episode of Huntsman's Cree TV. We've got a special episode today. We're taking the boys out hunting. All about the kids today. Able to spend a little bit of time with my son. I don't we don't get to spend a lot of time hunting together. So I was able to take them down to Kentucky for their youth season. That's special times, man. You can't ever get them back. So that's exactly what I did. Took them down to Kentucky and uh, took them deer hunting. We got to spend some father-son time. Down together. on the foundation ground. Yep. We just pulled into the airport. It's 719. Tony, he lands in about, oh, 15 minutes. We sitting here waiting on him. Gonna pick him and Dante up and head back to camp. So I took Dante down to Kentucky for their youth weekend. Yeah, October, two-day youth weekend. Yep. Yeah. Me and Dante flew down. Uh, Bubba had some nice deer on camera. Mm -hmm. we, were gonna, we were gonna hunt. You know, when we got down there, Dante wanted to shoot his gun yeah. because we flew yeah. and everything. And it's always a good thing to shoot your it gun is. after flying. It is. So we went to Steve's house and Parker shoots a 308. Yeah. And Dante's shooting a 243. Well, Dante asked me, he's like, Dad, is a 308? Is that a bigger gun than when I shoot? And I said, Yeah. Well, Parker shoots a 308. I said, Yeah. He's like, Well, I want to shoot a th I want to <laughs> shoot a 308 then. I said, Well, you could give it a shot, see if you like yeah. it. Yeah. 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 I beat you, Dad. Dante got to shoot, which was great because he was shooting out to 300 yards. Yeah, and you've never done. You've I've never, never shot. I've never shot 300 yards. Yeah. You know, yeah. I grew up hunting in New York, and yeah. you don't have 300 yard shots here. You get 100 yards top, so yeah. we, that's all we usually shoot at. So he got to shoot at 300 yards, and once he seen that he could shoot 300 yards, yeah. and with that 308, he wanted it. I had to buy a 308. I had to buy the 308 <laughs> buy, that he that shot. Gun. I had to buy that gun off of Steve. <laughs> it's really cool to watch kids shoot that far too, and they yeah. they they love it. I mean, yeah. they pull the trigger, you hear the gunshot, yeah. and it's like here, smack that piece of steel. Which it is. We didn't film it, but the piece of steel they're actually shooting at ain't but eight inches wide and eight inches tall. Right. And they're shooting at it at 300 yards. Yeah. And somebody that's never shot that far landed a gun up there and shooting it at I me. Mean, oh, he, was, yeah. he's like, he loved he, it. He loved it, yeah. yeah. He was hooked. He wanted yeah. to shoot yeah. all Can I shoot again? Yeah. Can I shoot again? Yeah. <laughs> I, think we, I think we ran through it to go buy ammo. Yeah, him, <laughs> him, and, him and Parker shot enough shells and Steve had to go back to my house and reload, <laughs> <laughs> reload some more for him. You gonna kill anything today? Yes. What are you gonna kill? Buck. A buck? Yes, yeah, it's gonna be a huge one. A huge one? <laughs> I'm ready. You ready? Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. It's opening day of youth season in Kentucky. It's just a two-day season. Um, Parker's the veteran here. He's been doing it for years. And uh, it looks like it, man, eating pizza and honey <laughs> buns. <laughs> He's used to it. Yeah. <laughs> It's Dante's first hunt and, uh, and his very first deer hunt. So we're gonna see hopefully these two boys can uh, close the deal on a nice big buck. So stay with us and let's see what happens. Unfortunately, the spot that me and Dante were gonna hunt. Yeah. 
the there's a creek there. We got to cross the creek. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, it, it was just too deep for me to cross with my track chair. Dante and Parker were kind of in a competition. Yeah, who was uh, going to kill, kill the biggest deer right <laughs> off the bat? And Parker went ahead, yeah, so shot a nice ten pointer. Parker killed a good ten pointer. 15 minutes after daylight, <laughs> the very first day. I can take my binoculars because it was drizzling rain, but I could still see. Right. It was just getting ready to break daylight, and I could look up there and I seen some silhouettes of some deer. And it kept getting lighter and lighter and lighter. And finally, I could tell there was a good buck there. So I told Parker, and he's like, Can I shoot it? I said, No, you can't shoot it. We ain't got camera light. So it went on for, I don't know, five minutes. Finally, he asked me again. I said, We still don't have camera light. <laughs> and he said, I ain't worried about no camera. He said, we'll get the next one on camera. I said, no, that don't work. <laughs> Huntsman's Creed TV is proudly brought to you by the Huntsman's Foundation, inspiring disabled children to enjoy the great outdoors. Tops Camo, quiet and durable camo for every situation. Carlson's Choke Tubes, the shooter's choice. McCabe Outdoor Mobility, serving disabled Americans nationwide. Hunter Safety System, Sword Sights and Tree Limb Quivers, and Afflictor Broadheads. This segment of the Huntsman's Creed TV is brought to you by Carlson's Choke Tubes, the shooter's choice. So it finally it gets daylight and sure enough, the deer's actually, just as he got shooting enough light he could shoot, and I got code and camera light, the deer actually walked in the thicket. And I was like, uh -huh. he's gone. And with luck would have it, he turned, he went in the cedar thicket and turned and come right back out. Where'd he turn? Can you see him? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Easy, hit him easy. Oh, you hit him hard. You smoked him. Was that the big eight? Uh, he's one, he's a good deer. So that was the start off of the weekend for youth season. And then it was Dante's turn and Dante wouldn't have nothing less and it had to be bigger than it Parker's. It had to be bigger than Parker's yeah, deer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. As soon as you sent me the pic, the picture, I looked at it and I showed it to Dante and Dante looked at it. He's like, well, Dad, how many points is that? I said, that's a 10 pointer, Dante. He's looking at it, he's like, well, I ain't shooting anything unless it's a 12 pointer. <laughs> <laughs> he was serious too. <laughs> yeah. I said, son, we might have a problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you had another big deer on camera. Yeah, it was bigger than Parker's was. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and we went and set up, tried to hunt that deer. Yeah, well, we went over there. We went over there. And set it all up to where we could get in the top of the box blind yep. and hunt him and film. And we put mesh around the bottom up to where you could film from the bottom at two angles. Yeah. Well, we was gonna go back to the very next morning. But and it poured all night. Yeah. I and mean, it rained. Hard. Hard. Treat got up four or five feet. Yeah. So that blowed that. Yeah. I wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't able to hunt that yeah. spot. So we couldn't even get across the creek. We went to uh, another farm. Yep. Yeah. I hunted with Dante. We hunted the morning. We seen a lot of deer. A lot of deer. Yeah. I mean, he was he was excited the whole yeah. time. We did have a nice buck come in. Yeah. He, was, he wasn't real wide, it was a tall buck, and Dante's looking at it, and he's looking at it through the scope, and he's, he's, I don't know, Dad, I don't know. I go, Dante, so that's a that's a beautiful deer, mm -hmm. you know, shoot that deer. And he's like, uh, I don't know, Dad, I think I'm he, gonna wait for something He was bigger. on the way down the one where across the creek over there, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we passed up that buck, and uh, Bubba came to pick us up. And I think we pulled the cards. Mm -hmm. I told you, I said, you know, there's a buck that came down in there and told him all about the deer. And Bob was thinking, well, he's like, I, I, I think I know what deer it is, but I'm not really sure. He, yeah. he pulls the card and he's like, oh, that's the 12 pointer. Yeah. Dante was in the back seat. He, he popped up, he goes, 12 pointer. <laughs> <laughs> he told me, Dad, Why don't you let I want to hunt him? with Bubba from now on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you never forget. When you get a phone call and something traumatic happens in your life that changes things from that point forward. Like the phone call I got in November of uh, 2017 from my sister 
which was that they were taking my brother-in-law, Sean, to the emergency room for severe headaches. And unfortunately, we learned that Sean had a brain tumor and it was cancerous, it was glioblastoma, you know, and unfortunately, he wasn't able to beat it. So we lost my brother-in-law back in January of 2018. My nephew was 12 when his father passed away and uh, we decided to take him out hunting. We're not gonna be too choosy. Travis is 12 years old trying to get his first deer and Uncle Troy is trying to guide him and you know, hopefully we get a shot at something. I'm just so tickled that I got the chance to take my nephew out deer hunting and, and do something with him that I think Don would have been very proud of. What did I tell you? Real horsepower, huh? Oh yeah. Good girl. Whoa, Betty, whoa, yeah. Don't forget guys, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Now, this is real horsepower. Come on, Baba. Let's go. This segment of the Huntsman's Creed TV is brought to you by the Huntsman's Foundation, helping to inspire and enable disabled Americans of all ages. So after Parker shot his buck, he kept begging me to go doe hunting, doe hunting, doe hunting. Well, with me guiding hunters, I didn't have time taking doe hunting. So after all my gun hunters got done, I asked him, I said, Parker, you go shoot a doe? Yeah. I mean, he wanted that jerky. Yeah, he's all, he's all about making jerky and he's all about killing. Oh, yeah. I mean, if it's brown, it's down. <laughs> That's just the way it works. What are we doing? Hunting. What are we hunting? Doe. Going doe hunting. Yeah. Going jerky looking. Yeah. Going to look for jerky meat. Pulls the trigger, and I could swore he missed her. Aimed it right on her. On her shoulder. Yeah, right on her shoulder, and I squeezed the trigger. Just like that, deer takes off, and I said, "You miss her? No, I didn't miss her." I said, "I think you missed her." He said, "No, I didn't." He said, "I promise you, I didn't." He said, "It was right on her." If it did, this gun is off. Is I aimed it right on her shoulder and just squeezed. The gun ain't off. But... Something is that she did not hit her. We wait. I don't know, 15, 20 minutes to get down and she didn't go 30 yards. He said, uh-huh, see there, I told you I didn't miss her. Yeah. What do you think? Deer jerky. Deer jerky, deer jerky, yeah. He got his jerky. He got his jerky, yeah. And well, you know what happens right after that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, he wants more jerky. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> That was a nice big doe that Parker got. Heck yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. He's had a stellar season, man. He has. He has. Shot a buck, now backed it up with a doe. Yep. You know what he did with that doe? He turned it on the jerky. Jerky, yeah. And and it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> That's a good thing, man. I mean, it is. They raise, these kids are getting raised the right way. They understand meat is for eating and it comes from an animal. Yep. And, and that's, that's what it's about. Just about every state, has a youth season built into the to the hunting season. There's a lot of kids out there that their parents might not be hunters, but they got this hankering to hunt. If you're an uncle, if you're a buddy, if you're anybody and you know a kid that has that, take them out. A couple of three days, a weekend, it's an introduction. It's giving them a chance to scratch that itch, to, to, to be able to, you know, connect with the outdoors. Let's go check out uh, Parker and Jensen's doe hunt. Them two, when they get together, anything can happen. They're right. So <laughs> let's check this out. Where are you going, Huck? Hunting. Hunting. Trying to go kill me a doe. What are you doing up there? Doe hunting. Oh, you're both doe hunting. <laughs> that evening, Parker and Jensen both want to go. Yeah. 
you know how this is going to turn out. <laughs> Parker and Jensen on <laughs> the same line. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we go back there behind the camp, get in the box blind. I hadn't been there very long, 15, 20, 30 minutes. A little old four-pointer comes out, then a spike comes out, then an eight-pointer comes out. Parker looks over at me, he said, there ain't no does coming out. He said, this is what happened the last time. I was like, well, I said, we're sitting here, now we're here. <laughs> so we sit there another 15, 20 minutes, and finally, Mama Lillian comes out. Parker, he tries and tries. He said, uh, them's two big does, let me kill one of them. I said, that ain't happening. I said, it's a Mama and Lillian. Jensen said, Parker, he said, that's a baby. You ain't shooting that thing. <laughs> So. <laughs> Huntsman's Cream TV is proudly brought to you by the Huntsman's Foundation, inspiring disabled veterans to enjoy the great outdoors. Tops Camo, quiet and durable camo for every situation. Carlson's Choke Tubes, the shooter's choice. McCabe Outdoor Mobility, serving disabled Americans nationwide. Hunter Safety System, Sword Sights and Tree Limb Quivers, and Afflictor Broadheads. This segment of the Huntsman's Cree TV is brought to you by Tops Camo. Stay warm, stay dry, succeed. He probably asked me 15 times, 20 times. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I said, no, I'm on a jerky day. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, finally, we look off to the right down here, and I told him, I said, Parker, here comes three big does. So when they come up the edge of the hill there, they walk out in a food plot and turn and go all the way to the end of it down there. Well, the minute the biggest doe turns sideways, Dad, can I shoot her? I said, no. I said, I'm filming her. Can I shoot her? No. <laughs> so finally, he said, I'm killing her. Smoke your parts. Put the gun right there. Go, Get over here. Get over here. Get over Get over here. Get Get over here. Get over Get over here. 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 Y'all be still. Get on it up. Don't worry me out. Come out with cheap there. Oh, I want my dad to go buy me a three. I mean a three, a weight. Shit. I see my tail. I used to show me the blood, Papa. I don't think I shot her. You hit her right dead in the shoulder. Did I really? I guarantee when the crosshairs hit the deer's shoulder, it was boom. That was it. It hits the ground. They killed them two big does and they had them a big old time. You know, Parker you, you, and Jensen on the blind. Yeah. It's always gonna, a good time. And they gonna kill something. <laughs> yeah. It don't matter what it is. And <laughs> they got them two more to make jerky out of. <laughs> they've got it took care of. We have a responsibility as a parent, as a as an uncle, just as a as a human being to, to our children. If you do not raise these kids up with an appreciation for the outdoors, 
you know, if you don't get them outside before they're like 10 years old, get them out there hunting or fishing or doing anything outside. It's too late. It is. So guys, get the kids out. Whether you're an uncle, definitely if you're a father, just make sure the kids get out there because they are the future. It's up to us. There's nobody else. And once they're lost, it's over. Well, congratulations, Parker and Jensen. That was awesome. Yeah, they had a blast. Not only to have a blast, they got a boatload of meat. And that's, that's right. what it's about. Yep. You know, guys, it is our responsibility. Make sure that we that we stand up and take that responsibility and get these kids outdoors. They're the future. That's just the way it is. That's right. And we're out of time. Yep. Folks, till next week, I'm Mike. I'm Tony. And don't forget the foundation. Yep. We're talking about the foundation next week how this monster has occurred, how it all got together, how we all got together, and where a combined effort has put us today. Yep, where we're going. Okay, be safe. Make sure that you introduce a kid, don't forget. Till next week, we'll see you. Closed captioning provided by the Huntsman's Foundation helping to inspire and enable disabled Americans of all ages to return to the great outdoors. I like that. I, I like that. Yeah. I like that. I didn't quite know where I was going. I got kind of lost in this. Yeah, I know. We blew that right out of the water. I don't even know where to start with that. Nah. Let it roll. Hit it. Hit it. Let's see ya.